Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're well. I am Dr. Okay. Today I would like to talk about five ways to a better broadcast, a better live broadcast that is. So for some of you, this may be uh, a reminder or, you know, kind of this um, refresher uh, broadcast. And for some of you, it's something that you may not have ever thought about. And so I'd like for you to consider some of these things as you live broadcast and you hit the button. So here we go. So five ways to a better broadcast, live broadcast that is. So one thing that I, you know, one thing that I've been doing lately, I haven't been broadcasting as much, but I've been watching broadcasts and I've been doing it kind of reevaluating what I'm doing, what I am, how I am showing up on the camera and how my broadcasts come across to others. And so I, you know, look and see what other broadcasters do and see what I like, what I don't like and go through that. So that is definitely something to do. That is not one of my tips, so that's probably a bonus. <laughs> but that's something that I do. And so I wanted to offer you some of the things that I've been seeing that, um, and some of the things that I know that help me. So first of all, you know, the way to get engagement and to get people onto your broadcast is to pre-promote and in, make sure that you let people know when you're going live. So if you have a schedule or you know an hour when you go live, but definitely share that with your audience. When you're live, you say, hey, we're I'm here every Tuesday or I'll see you here Tuesday at 7. Whatever it is, but share when you are live. Share it with your audience. You know, definitely if you're on different platforms, share on those platforms where you are, when you are there. And so sometimes you may be on that platform, but if you are like me and you're on every platform there is, and, and so sometimes you're live on Facebook, sometimes you're live on Instagram, sometimes you're live on Twitter, Periscope. And so it's nice to let your audience know where you are and that way they can join you. So pre-promote your broadcast is number one. Number two, is prepare what you're going to talk about. Actually have points. And I typically make notes and I actually use index cards to share um, my broadcast and to write down my, um, I'm trying to get them. I put them too far away, sorry, bad broadcasting. But I actually have note cards, index cards, and I usually put my um, ideas on these. And what I do is file them. So I put them in like a little file box um, for index cards and I put them in there. And so then you can even repurpose your content. That's a bonus. But um, I usually do that. And so I like putting them on index cards and putting my points on there. Yes, Stevie, I agree. Like for me, now that I'm doing so many things, it helps to have a schedule and then it helps me with focusing my content, right? It helps that. Um, and so it's something that you can commit to. Yes. Um, and so that's something to consider. So <laughs> It is when I do it, right? So, and like I use different sizes. Like I have this size and then the one that I'm talking from today is this size. So I like the larger ones um, if I have more content because I talk so much. Um, but the little, the smaller ones even work. And just put your points on there because as people are commenting, you'll engage with them, you'll talk with them. So, you know, make some notes and make sure you have your points so you don't, because it's easy, easy, easy as you're reading the comments to get off track guilty. <laughs> I am so guilty. I'm so guilty of that. You know, some people even go as far as making a content calendar, but you can even create your own where you are, what you're doing and what you're going to talk about. So you can even put the platform, what you're doing and really keep a schedule because in that way you can share that with your audience. So definitely promote your broadcast. And then of course, prepare what you're going to say. Number three, be personable. Welcome people into your broadcast. Say hello to them. The one thing that bothers me, y'all, like really is if people are commenting and they're asking questions and they're engaging and they're really like enthralled in the content and the broadcaster is ignoring the comments. They're not even looking at the comments and it just takes a moment to acknowledge you don't have to read every last one of them, but definitely acknowledge the comments. Acknowledge that people are talking to you. It's social media. You should be social and engaging. You know, make sure that you're engaging with your audience. And so be personable. Smile. 
relax. Now I'm guilty of this y'all. So if I'm talking about being personable and welcoming, one thing that I need to do, slow down. I have my list. I have my notes. I am here. And what I want to do is just share my content really fast. I just want to get it out, get it done. And so what I need to do is really slow down. <laughs> so it helps if you know, look at the comments, acknowledge the comments. If it's relevant to what you're talking about, it's not a troll or anything like that. And that helps, you know, for you to just slow down, just slow down. So smile, relax, slow down, engage with your audience and definitely ask questions, ask questions. So for those of you that are here, you know, tell me where you're joining me from. That's a good one to ask. Like, where are you joining me from? If you're joining me on the replay, say hello to me. If you're joining me from different, if wherever you're joining me from, put that in the comments. Tell me where you're joining me from because I like to know where you're joining me from. You know, something like that. Like just, it doesn't have to be anything major. It can be related to your content. So like some of you may have tips for people as well. Put those in the comments. You can share your own tips. <laughs> Saunter your stream. Oh, I should have named that this. Oh my goodness. That should have been the title of this one. I should have stolen it. Take your time, enjoy what you're doing, be social. And you know, you may not want to hit the button if you don't have time to like actually take your time, smile and be personable. I was in someone's broadcast the other day and they were so mean to the audience. Like they were not going to give content. They were going to hold the content until 2,000 people commented when it was 10 people on there. It was really um intimidating it was like why such the attitude like why do you have to be like that and i was watching that broadcast okay so let me recap and go back because you know here i am i'm sauntering the stream apparently right miss stevie so let's get this so one promote pre-promote your broadcast tell your peeps where you're gonna be on different platforms and Create a schedule. It's better if you have a schedule. Even if there's one day a week you know you're going to show up, at least share that one day a week. Two, prepare content. Prepare your content. Create a content calendar. Make notes. Make sure you, you know, you have something that whatever content you're sharing, you have notes. So you make sure you get it all in and it makes sense and it's complete and coherent. Number three, be personable and welcoming. Smile, relax. Engage in the comments, ask questions, just take your time. And like I need to do, what I'm working on is slowing down. I naturally talk fast, and so I have to consciously slow it down. And number four, introduce yourself. Introduce yourself to your audience at the beginning of your broadcast. Share with them what you do and why you do it. How do you help people? Because that may help them engage. That may help them figure out how you can be of service to them, how you can connect, network, and collaborate maybe, and create partnerships. So definitely introduce yourself, tell what you do, and you know, think about your pitch. Now, your introduction should be short. Now, I've been on some broadcasts, like this, this broadcast is based on my viewing others. I've been on some broadcasts where I don't, I when, even when I see them go live and my notifications are on, I don't go in until 10 minutes after they've been on. Because I know they're going to be on an hour and they spend all this time introducing themselves, doing housekeeping stuff. And I just get in there like, is that bad? But that's what you don't want your audience to do. You don't want them to delay coming to see you. So you want to introduce yourself, 30 seconds, do your intro, tell what you're going to talk about. Like I did at the beginning of this broadcast, I gave you just a little tease or peek into what we were going to talk about before I started sharing some housekeeping. And I did that very quickly. And so that's what you want to do. You want to make sure that you say who you are, tell who you are, but then get on with it. Get on with it. <laughs> yes 10 minutes like it is like ridiculous and then I go and so I keep going because I know they have good content like I'm 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 devoted to this right I'm invested in what they do because they have great content but it takes them like 10 minutes people want to know what's going on they need to know what 
should I invest time in this? Should I invest time in this? Or should I go? And so it's better if you let them know what you're talking about. Give them a little, a little bit, a part of your intro. You don't have to spill all the beans. I know some of us like to keep things secret <laughs> till later in the broadcast. But at least tell them the topic so they know and where you're going. So they know if it's relevant to them and if it fits what they need. Because, yeah, 30-second commercials are what we do. Yes, we do. Really quick. All right. And number five. A call to action. You should have a call to action. You should have some way for people to, what are they going to do at the end of your broadcast? What do you want them to do as a result of listening to you? Do you want them to connect with you off and do some post-show comments? Maybe they, you want them to answer a question. So like for all of you, I would like for you to share your tips to a better broadcast. What do you like about other people's broadcasts? Share that in the comments below. If you're on the replay, definitely tag me and share and share in the comments. You can even share it on Twitter and tweet me. I'm at Dr. Tammy Francis. See, something like that, but give them a little bit to take back. Yes, give them a little and take and take it on back. There you go. You want them to, to do something as a result of watching you. And so maybe how can the content in additional to your live, how can you help them with that? Oh my goodness. I hope this this broadcast is doing okay my connection is wonky i apologize um i'm, I'm getting a message so i'm i'm I haven't checked the connection but i'm hoping it's okay maybe you want them to join a class maybe you want them to join you live on tuesday cap for those of you that are coming on on a replay definitely um tell me hello and then let me just tell you the five ways to a better broadcast and then you share your own in the comments. Number one, pre-promote. Number two, prepare your content. Number three, be welcoming and personable. Four, introduce yourself and tell a little bit about yourself. Make sure you make that 30 seconds. Get to it and get into your content and then a call to action. Give them a link, some kind of call to action. What do you want them to do? Keep your viewers coming back each day. Yes, Stevie, exactly. You want them to keep coming back. You want them to engage with you outside of that platform off of that platform or between your live broadcast so you definitely want to connect with them between the broadcast and make a connection true connections and get to know people get to know your viewers and then they will support you and you know you don't really have to sell them anything but if you have something to sell you can but if you just connect with people you'll be surprised at how they'll follow you and stay with you and on different platforms even if they say i'm not on facebook they'll find you on facebook if they're on facebook i'm not on instagram you keep delivering good content and being engaged with them and connecting with them you'll be surprised at what happens thank you all for joining me if you have not liked this like turn on your notifications so you get notifications when we come live and give you great tips thank you all for joining me definitely say hello if you're on the replay and share your tip if you have a tip for um, improving live broadcast because you're a live broadcaster share it with us in the comments i look forward to engaging with you even after this broadcast take care and have a great day see you soon Bye.